And a little after Keldeo's release, we can welcome our, another new Pokemon, Meloetta, to our little family of Pokemon. It's interesting to see how Meloetta is going to turn out in this metagame. I don't really think it's going to be OU, to be honest. Just because the physical form is just so much better than just running a special set, and because you have to use a move just to turn physical special or whatever. So yeah, Meloetta is going to be interesting. It was released, what, yesterday? Technically two days, because Japan's weird time zones and whatnot. So that's a thing. We have a battle, an OU battle with Meloetta in it, so that's going to be a thing. So, into the team, you can see a Meloetta there. So, I don't really know what it's going to do because it's a Meloetta, and I don't really know what they're going to start running. So, that's going to be a little bit of annoying just to see what that thing is. Otherwise, the rest of his team doesn't look that big of a deal. Weavile actually kind of hurts my team a lot since it does outspeed a lot and can hit a lot of my guys, barring Fortress, for a lot of damage. So, I'm just going to lead off with Titar to get my sand up. This is my standard sand team that I've been using for a while. So, just decided to do that. Ends up leading with Weavile. Don't want to take a low kick or brick break, so I'm just going to switch right off and just go into Jellison to take it. So, that happens, and I just do switch out, you just go for the brick break, and it does nothing, because I'm immune to it and whatnot. Um, here on the switch, I'm just, I think I just decided to go for the Will-O-Wisp here, because why not? I'm kind of veering him being like Life Orb, and can still hit him with the Dark Move, but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to take it anyway, so... I just go for the will o -Wisp. hopefully to hit the Weavile, but he ends up just switching into Victini, which is immune to it, so that's gonna be a thing. I decide to sustain and go, I, you know, yeah, I switch out. Not wanting to take a hit, I believe, here. No, yeah, he goes for the taunt, as I just go for the... What do I do here? I go for the Yeah, I go for the recovery, because I wanted to see how much Fusion Bolt would do. That's what I was thinking. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because if it was Bandit or Scruff, I know I can take it either way, but I wanted to see what it was. So I'm for the recovery just to scout it. He ends up taunting me, so that kind of sucks. The only move I can go for is Surf. I don't really want to go for it, so I'm just going to switch out. He ends up going to Jellicent, predicting me to go for that water move now, and I end up just switching into Reuniclus, so... That's kind of okay for me. I'm just going to go for the safe Shadow Ball. I don't really any need to predict at this point. just going to go for it, but it kind of sucks. He is going to be able to get, get, get a free switch into Weavile. Now, not really free, but he does have to take a Shadow Ball, but it's not going to be doing much is what I'm trying to say. So, Shadow Ball hits it, does like a quarter, and yeah, I don't want, I'm don't. i kind of fearing the pursuit at the same time as Night Slash. Not really sure what he's going to go for. I'm just going to stay in, kind of, at leaving Runiclus in the spotter, since it's not going to be as useful as it could be, and eh, this Weavile is kind of a threat in a way, so I'm just going to let it die to the Night Slash. don't see any life orb, so I'm thinking it's probably Scarfed or Banded. Maybe it's Focus Sash, actually. I don't think it's Banded, so... um. I'm gonna go on a uh, Fortress, just gonna set up some spikes on, because I know he's gonna switch out here. He's gonna go back into Victini, don't wanna take a fire move once again, so I am just gonna go into my Jellicent, so that's gonna be a thing. He ends up just going for the Taunt again, which is kind of odd. And I didn't realize till now, but the reason why he keeps switching out after he taunts is that he's probably Choice, because I don't see any lefties on him. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Choice with Taunt, which is really odd, so... Yeah, he's gonna switch out again, because I'm pretty sure at this point he's locked. He's locking himself into Taunt, which is just weird. So I'm just gonna go for the Surf to be safe. He ends up switching back into Jellison. He does have Water Absorb, so I heal him up, but it's really not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna go for the Taunt myself, just so he doesn't burn anything, and hopefully not my Jellison. I do see him taking Sandstorm first, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be faster. Doesn't look, he's, doesn't look like he's running the standard Jellison, so... Just gonna go for the taunt, and yeah, I, actually no I don't. I switch into Fortress. Why'd I, why didn't I just taunt him? I guess I was fearing that I'd lose the speed tie still or something? I don't know. Anyways, he ends up missing the will o -Wisp, which is kind of weird, so... Doesn't really matter too much, because he can just go for it again if he really wants to. I'm just gonna set up some more spikes, because I really don't feel the need. I'm not really scared of the Dawn fan coming in and trying to get the spin off, since I still have my gels into life. And the spin blocking won't, really won't be that useful. And no, I'm not trying to talk over the stupid weird buzzing noise. That's not what I'm doing at all. So yeah, Surf doesn't do that much, and dude, Surf doesn't do that much, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for the layer of spikes, and I'm just switch going for the Will-O-Wisp, so it does burn me, which is not that big of a deal, since Fortress is just dear to set up spikes and whatnot, so, um, I decided to switch out here, I think, since I don't really feel the need to go for the Earthquake, since I'm burned, it's not gonna be really doing much, and I could just kind of save my Fortress for later, so there's no real point to me staying in here. So I believe I just switch into Jellicent, I believe, here, just so I can, you know, water absorb, get the free switch anyway, so, yeah, that's nice, and I'm just gonna go for the taunt here, question mark, I think I just go for the taunt here so he just can't burn me, then I can just freely burn him, because like I said, it looks like I'm faster, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure I'm faster, so, gonna go for the taunt, and yeah, I do end up outspeeding him again, and going, and just, you know, stopping him from will wisping me, so that's good. Now I'm just going to try to burn him. If he switches out, something's going to have to take the burn unless he decides to go into Victini again, but I really don't really feel the need to go for the Surf predicting that since Victini I've only seen one move from. I don't really know what it's going to do, so 
Decide to switch out here, actually, and go into my, um, Tyranitar, and I can take any hit now that it only can go for attacking moves. Has the Giga Drain, which is really odd, does nothing, even though, despite super effective damage, because I'm a Tyranitar, max special defense, and you are a Jellicent, probably defensively invested. So, does little, just gonna go for the safe crunch here. Probably should've gone for the Stealth Rocks, but I kinda figured he just, I don't know why I didn't go for the Stealth Rocks there, and I guess I was kinda thinking he may stay in, but I don't know. I probably should've went for the Rocks there, but... Ends up just going into his Don Fan, takes a little bit of damage, gets a defense drop, which didn't come into play at all, I don't think. And yeah, I don't want him to spin away all my entry hazards and whatnot, so I'm just going to switch into my Jelson to be safe. But he does make the good play and just goes for the Earthquake. And I, judging by how much this Earthquake does to my Jelson, I can easily tell that this thing is obvious an offensive Don Fan. One of those adamant ones with max attack, max HP, because so it, it does over half. Well, not over half, but almost half is what I'm trying to say. So that looks offensive, so... I know that a Will-O-Wisp is probably the best play to go for, since I don't think he... Victini switching in is not that big of a deal, to be honest, so he does end up switching into Victini, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, I end up missing, which really doesn't matter at all, but, um, just gonna, I think, just switch out here, thinking he's probably gonna go for the Fusion Bolt, so I'm just gonna go into my Landorus to take it, is my thing, but yes, he just goes for the Psychic, so I have no idea what kind of gel this... What kind of sect this is, to be honest. I don't even know. This Psychic doesn't even look specs. I don't even... I don't know what to think about this Victine at all, to be honest. So, Psychic does over half. I'm just going to go for the U-turn, figuring he's going to switch. No, I'm, no, I'm going to be faster no matter what, and I can just get the switch advantage. Or you go, oh, no, I go for the Earthquake here, don't I? I don't even know this game, do I? Wow. Yeah, I go for the Earthquake. End up getting a crit off on this Dawn fan. I'm not sure how much it mattered. not sure if it mattered at all, but if I didn't kill it, I probably would have switched up during the S shard anyway, so... And I had plenty of ways to deal with Dawn Fan, so it's not that big of a deal. He goes into his own lander, I have to switch out because I am choice. He knows I ha he knows I'm choice at this point, so he just go for the earthquake, predicting my switch. And yeah, Fortress comes in, takes a buttload of earthquake damage, making me think this thing is probably banded. I want I want to say it's banded, so just gonna let him kill me off with another earthquake. No reason to switch back into Landorus, because I really don't need Fortress for anything, and I want to kind of make sure that he's choice. So I'm gonna go into Landorus, test out his choice, and just gonna go for the U-turn, see if he switches. He ends up do switch, does switch. So I'm pretty sure he's choice. So um, he switches into Victina. That thing's gonna die to a U-turn at this range. And now I'm just gonna switch into my Jellicent, I believe, as because to give him the switch advantage. Because that's what happens when you kill something with U-turn. So just gonna go into Jellicent. I figure that'd be the best thing to deal with the majority of his team when he has left. But he is just gonna be able to switch into the Weavile, which still kind of threatens me with the pursuit, which really does suck. But I am still just don't want to risk it. I know I can take a Pursuit even if I switch out. I'm pretty sure at this range I'm just going to switch out because I don't really feel as much merit to staying in. Go to my Terrakion predicting the... Since I didn't see him well, I thought he was going to go for the um, Night, Night Slash, get the Justified maybe. But he actually goes for the Brick by predicting Titar and Terrakion to come in, which was a really good play on his part because now my Terrakion dies. And that sucks because it's Terrakion and it's always bad when your Terrakion dies. So... Um, I'm gonna go back into Jellicent now. I'm still figuring this thing is choice in some way, so I'm just gonna um, go for the Willows to burn something, and he ends up switching into Jellicent, so getting that thing burned will help overall just wither it down a bunch, so that's gonna be a, a good thing ish, because I only have my, what, Terrakion and Titar and Landorus left, right? Yeah, I have three guys left, so. Um, I believe I just go for the recover here because I don't really think Jelly can do much. The worst he can do to me is just burn me or go for the Giga Drain. So I'm just going to try to get up to full because I really want this thing to be up full to help deal with that Landorus better. So I go for the recovery. And so switching into Weavile, I, I guess he forgot about Sandstorm because even though he lives the Stealth Rock, I mean not the Stealth Rock, the, um, the Spikes hit, he is going to die to the Sandstorm at the end of the turn. So I'm not sure if he was foddering it there or if he just forgot about the Sandstorm or something. But either way... Um, Weavile's gonna die, and I'm at full, which is awesome for me, so yay, Jelly at full is always a good thing. He's now gonna switch into his Landers now, I know I can live any one hit, so I'm just gonna go for the will of to hopefully burn this thing, because this thing still is a huge threat to my team, so, gonna go for the will of and I miss, which really, really sucks, because that's just bad. Now, as you see, the Earthquake did over half, and now I can't take another one. Gonna have to switch in my own Landers, obviously, since it's my best play right now. So I just do that, and I know here that he's gonna predict me to go for the U-turn and go for the, um, go for the, um, Earthquake again, predicting me to U-turn, predicting his switch. So I go for the Stone Edge, and that was an awesome play for me, because if I went for the U-turn, he would have gone second and killed something off with an Earthquake. So that was a really good play for me, surprisingly. So, gonna go for the Stone Edge again, since I'm locked into it, don't really have much of a choice in switching into his Jellicent, and I, I end up killing it at that range, which is kind of surprising, but... Anyway, Jellicent dies, and that's good. Now he's going to switch into his Meloetta here, because it's totally possible to have a shiny Meloetta 
from the recent event. And I also have a nickname, but whatever goes to the mellow, I'm not sure if this thing is really up to. Just gonna switch into my T tower to be safe. Maybe go for the psychic move or something. I don't know. And still going for the ice punch, so I know it's a physical set. It does get ice punch all the punches from black and white too, so that's legal and I do see life orbs, so it's like one of them, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just gonna go for the crunch here. Should have kind of predicted their relic song to be honest, because I know he's probably gonna go for that just to transform into the physical pirouette form or something that's called. So yeah, crunch is now gonna be resisted instead of super effective on this turn. So it switches from normal psychic to normal fighting. So I probably should have predicted that better, but whatever. And otherwise, at a low point of health, it's not that big of a threat. I'm just gonna let my T-Tar die to the probable close combat coming next, because I really don't need it any for anything anymore. Since all he has, th he has this and his Landorus left, and I can pretty much win the game from here if I just go into Landorus. Just gonna go for the U-turn. I know I'm faster because I'm scarped and I saw the Life Orb, so I know it isn't because this thing has like what 172 speed. I think it's really fucking fast, Mellow. I just the, the, this form at least. So I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, gonna take it out despite the resistance because of the defense drops, and now I'm just gonna go into my Jellicent. He has his landers left. I know it's choice at this point. He can't possibly kill... He can't lock himself into one move to kill both my Pokemon, so it's pretty much a good game unless he gets a Mega Stone Edge crit. So he is gonna go into Landorus. He, he's gonna have to lock himself into Stone Edge if he wants a small chance of winning. But even then, my Landorus is and this looks banded, so I'm still going to outspeed his, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, instead going for the Stone Edge, ends up missing because it's Stone Edge. It's not really a, a true OU battle if you don't miss at least one Stone Edge. So, Stone Edge isn't missing, didn't really matter, like I said. It wouldn't even have killed me, so... Um, that's going to be the match. And yeah, that was a pretty narrow 2 0 and an awesome game. So yeah, I'll see you guys later for more battles and whatnot.